Hawthorne defeated Fremantle by more than 100 points last week, but Luke Hodge was omitted with a minor knee injury. At Collingwood, a special day for Josh Fraser. Picked number one back in 1999, today playing his 200th game after spending the last 10 weeks in the VFL. He's got a game because of the suspension to Lee Brown. Alan Dydak was out with a shoulder injury, while Leon Davis was a late inclusion for Ben Johnson. Hawthorne had won four of the last five against Collingwood, while the Magpies won the round four clash by 64 points. Lance Franklin took the wrong option early. He plays on and Buddy has missed an absolute soda and that is not good enough at this level. Soon after, Collingwood missed. Best recovery, Cloak can run in and oh, he's missed from five metres as well. Franklin made no mistake when he played on the next time before Dane Beams responded for the Magpies. Looks pretty good. Kick. First goal for the Magpies. 11-7 to Collingwood at quarter time and coach Mick Malthouse spelt out some of the basics to his troops. Jared Roughhead's behind, the first score in 18 minutes before Cyril Rioli put the Hawks in front. Chance for Rioli, little soccer forward and it's through! Fraser didn't have Tarzan grip when he needed it, while Carl Peterson showed his twinkle toes to slip through and boot Hawthorne further ahead. Oh, somehow got through traffic and has a shot at goal and kicks a ripper! Steele side bottom crumbed well to kick his 17th goal of the season to keep Collingwood in touch before Jared Blair took his chance well. Finding Blair off the ground goal, Collingwood in front. Davis with a beauty from the boundary for the Magpies. At half time, Collingwood grinding to the front to lead Hawthorne 34 23. Unbelievable. Darren Jolly opened the scoring in the second half before Franklin responded for the Hawks. A tug on the jumper cost 50 metres and Blair booted the Magpies three goals clear. No problems for him. Off and offline from close range, Cloak showed better accuracy from further out, while a push in the back gave Franklin a sitter for his third. Gets it, and the Hawks hanging in there. The gold began to flow, Jordan Lewis for the Hawks, before Luke Ball responded for Collingwood. Good handball to Ball, and Ball kicks a goal. Franklin then fired up from outside the arc. He loads up and drives it home. Jolly booted his 21st goal of the year. Xavier Ellis kept Hawthorne within two goals. Left foot going home, yes! Seven goals kicked before half time. Brendan Whitecross made it 12 goals for the quarter. Drop part looks pretty good off the boot. Margin back to 11. For Hawthorne, so much hinged on Franklin. 35 from goal, as good as directly in front. This for number five. Looks pretty good. Hawks do it in five points. Chris Dawes took a one-hander for a double-digit lead. Davis provided breathing space midway through the term. Comes to Blair, over the top to Davis, and Davis scrubs one and kicks a goal. Franklin showed his strength to shake off his rival and kick his sixth major before Dane Swan swept toward goal. Goes for home, superb stuff from Dane Swan. Hawthorne then stuck in three goals in five minutes to get within a point through Roughhead, Ryan Hooper and Clinton Young. Young, right foot kick, it's a goal, it's a point the difference. Rioli then put the Magpies to the sword. Snap and go, it's a beauty. Cyril Rioli's kicked another wonderful goal and the Hawks are in front. Jolly had to leave the field after this. Oh, Stratton accidentally whacked in the face. Dane Beams had the chance to win it for Collingwood, but Hawthorne hung on with the chance to host a home final. The Magpies' first loss since round 10, as Hawthorne 98 beat Collingwood 95. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport.